Welcome to P5 Archive and M-Tape, the first LTO drive with Thunderbolt. P5 Archive by Archiware is the ideal software for it. Archiving can be described as getting from here, with all the cards, disk, printed directories, etc., to there, where the archive is a centralized catalog and keeps track of everything. An archive is a data migration. It moves data from your disk storage offline to tape. This saves disk storage and cost and adds the professional security level of LTO tape for long-term storage. This is the setup we're going to use. Once you download it and install P5, you log in with your admin account. You can order and enter a trial license within P5. The easiest way to archive is to follow the setup assistant. The tape library wizard takes care of connecting your M tape once it's physically connected, powered on, and the driver installed. The wizard discovers the drive or the library and connects it to P5. Each tape must be labeled before use. This deletes all data on it and marks the tape for archive and the archive storage pool. We can watch the tape being labeled in the background. Once it's done, you can already select files to be archived. You can select files or directories like we do here. Mtape is now positioning the tape and writing the files with a native speed of up to 160 megabytes a second. For the demo, we speed up the process with a little time lapse. To see your files in the archive, go to Restore. This shows you the archive catalog. Here you have thumbnails of images that can also be resized. Looking for a specific image? Just browse the catalog. You can also see preview clips, as well as previews of PDFs and other file types. Both descriptive and technical metadata can be added to the catalog. Technical metadata can be imported from the file header. That's what we did here in the background. They flow into additional fields that can be customized and can also be created as drop-down menus. When searching, criteria can be combined. Like here, where we search for an image that was taken with a specific camera. Now let's restore the file we just found. It can be restored to any destination. In this case, the restore folder on the desktop. You can watch the process again in the job monitor while the file is being restored. We are also watching the restore folder where the file will show up. And here it is. The file just came back from the LTO tape. To keep operation easy, the overview lists each archive job with details. The storage pool shows the sum of all tapes and the individual volumes are listed with their filling level. You just saw that P5 Archive offers media previews, browsing and searching, metadata fields and the option for offset storage with LTO tapes. But there are even more features and options that P5 offers like login areas for user groups, library support and third-party integrations with MAM systems and for restoring from EDLs. Start making your life easy and build an archive that supports your work. Download Archiver P5 today. Archiving easy as it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm.